All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just gonna do a real quick video. Last time I did a video of my tilt trim uh, relay that I had to replace. And um, that worked for a couple of days, like two trips. And then the last trip that I took, it shorted out. This right here is where the it shorted out and the plug came out. So I tried soldering it and didn't have any luck. <clears throat> here it is right here. It is toast. Um, soldering it and trying to rewire it and everything. Uh, one other thing that I was trying to figure out was all this gunk. Um, I tried cleaning it up. It looks a lot better than it did. But if you look at the other one, this is the one I did not replace this one. That's the up one. But if you can see there, there's a whole bunch of this gunk all over it. And I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing, but um, I'm uh, guessing it's probably a bad thing because the new ones do not have any of this, that stuff all over it. They're all cleaned up. <clears throat> so I'll probably end up replacing the, the up switch or the, uh, yeah, the upside. Um, it's a harness. That's, that's the word I was thinking of. The, um, the up harness I'll probably end up having to replace that. But anyway, in there and show you guys the uh, wiring for it. Um, you've got the red here. You got red, then you got the green in the middle, and then you've got the black down there. And then there's one long green that has to go uh, to another thicker green wire there. So I was able to uh, go ahead and splice those two together. Um, Got about to put some uh, electrical tape on there and hopefully that will work. But uh, went ahead and tested it. Um, uh oh, now it's not working. Okay, so I gotta figure out what, what that's all about. Okay, I found the culprit to my problem. Uh, this wire, this wire here, uh, came loose from there. So I'm going to go ahead and put those back together. Yeah, this is the um, little quick connect that I had on there and it wasn't crimped all the way tightly enough on the wire. So I got to get another one out of here and that way I can replace it. Yeah, here's the, here's the new one here. So, um, this will go onto that wire there and it should go connect, uh, connect to it. And then, um, should have a, um, an operating tilt trim. All right. So I've got the new connector onto here. The reason why I put this type of connector on there is because this, uh, came with the, um, with the relay harness and that, uh, plugs into that. So I had some of these uh, blue things and uh, just make sure that you pull on these up. Oh, see, it wasn't all the way on. Make sure you pull on them and test your work because um, that's what I didn't do. And this thing keeps on uh, coming off. So I have to put another one on and make sure that I've got it on there as tight as I possibly can. All right, so I've got this one on crimp the crap out of it just to see if I could get it on there. Um, just a reminder, guys, I am not a boat mechanic. I am a regular person just trying to save some money uh, and, and trying to avoid a trip to the, um, to the boat shop. So next I'm going to get one of these heat shrink wraps and maybe cut it a little bit smaller to fit onto that wire. And then I'm going to shrink it on there and uh, hopefully that will um, insulate it a little bit better. All right, I've picked a heat shrink wrap, wrap and I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> plug these two in here. If I can do this with one hand. Uh, that's gonna plug into there. Hang on, give me a second. All right, so I've got these two plugged in together. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and test it real quick just to make sure the up and down is working, and then I'm gonna put that heat shrink shrink wrap, and um, that should finish the job. All right, 
There's down. And there's up. Try one more time. Down and up. So we've got a good connection. Uh, hopefully that fixes my problem. And um, I can get back out on the water. It's been about a week, so going crazy here. All right, so I got the little heat shrink wrap tubing on there, covering it. I used one of these guys. Uh, be careful whenever you're using one of these to make sure you don't melt any of the other wires. Just kind of uh, take it slow and kind of move it, um, move it around to, to where it's not sitting on these wires to you know burn the wires and stuff. But uh, that I had to use that because the uh, there's some wind out here. But um, preferably you're going to want to use a heat gun for that kind of thing, but I don't have one. So, um, this, this worked. And lastly, I cleaned up my work, put the little, um, relays back in their, in their box. And, um, this wire here is a little bit long, but I'm just going to leave it like that because, uh, I don't feel like I don't want to cut it, um, because it's had, had that connector on it. So anyway, um, got everything back in place tested it and everything's working so um wish me luck all right here is a screenshot of the harness that i found on ebay it was around 35 dollars so i'd say that i probably saved some money uh doing it myself here and for peace of mind i mean it's always better to put it in the shop because they might be able to find some other um hidden problems that you don't see coming uh but Right now, I just didn't have the time. I will end up putting it in the shop eventually, uh, probably during the winter time would be best whenever I have more time because uh, it usually sits at the shop for about two months. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Uh, please comment any questions you may have. Thanks.